Okay, we're going to do some quotes. Professor Rose is in bed because it's too late. Uh, we've got some big hamsters there. Look at those big hamsters. Big long-eared hamsters, aren't they, George? Look at that hamster. Adorable hamster. But we've got Christian quotes. I'm going to tell you where I'd use them. Repeat them repeatedly so you can just listen to them, try and get them to go into your head, and then just say them where they'd go again. So we're going to do Christian beliefs, first of all, for quotes. A quote about uh, omnipotence of God. With God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. Use that on any question about the nature of God, especially if you're mentioning omnipotence in a five-mark question. With God, all things are possible. How can you show that God is omnipotent? Well, in the Bible it says, with God, all things are possible. How can we prove that God is all-loving? Well, for God so loved the world, he gave his only son. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. So if there's a question about omnibenevolence, we can say, oh, for God so loved the world, he gave his only son. Okay? We can also find salvation through the works of Jesus Christ. And how do we find salvation? Well, through God's love. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. Do we need a quote about the Trinity? Well, we can just say, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Oh, there's a question about Trinity. Uh, 12 mark question. Uh, the Trinity is the most important Christian belief. Well, for many people, the Trinity is important. As it says in the Bible, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's a very basic quote. You're not going to be able to analyse it much, but at least it is some scripture that's very specific to the Trinity. I'm going to read them all again, just because I'm boring like that. With God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I've not put the the in there. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I forget the word the as well there. I think you'd get the marks whether you had the thes in there or not. But, you know, up to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, creation. Anything about its omnipotence, you can use this as well. It's probably more for the theme exam, this one, but it's a nice, easy quote to remember. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So, a nature of God question about uh, the God as a creator. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Let us make man in our image. Why are humans special? Well, let us make man in our image. We are made in the image of God. What does the image of God mean? That means that we are created with reason and free will. We make our own decisions. So if we were talking about why humans are special or why we need to worry about how we act, we are going to be made in God's image. We are special. Why should we look after each other? Why should we save other people's lives? Well, we are made in God's image. That makes us special. So we should protect each other. Let us make man in our own image. Human beings are special. Okay. Let us make man in our own image. Let us make man in our image. The word became flesh. The word became flesh. Now that word is the word of God. The word of God becoming flesh is the God becoming Jesus Christ. Okay, so there's a question about the incarnation. Question about the incarnation. The word became flesh. The word became flesh. Why is that important? Well, because that is God in human form. God has come to earth in human form to save us from our sins, for salvation. How do we find salvation? We find salvation through Jesus Christ because he is the word became flesh. He is God on earth. He is the word of God in flesh, in human form. The word became flesh. Anything about the nature of Jesus, you can use the word became flesh. Anything about forgiveness or the crucifixion? Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. Jesus is forgiving the people who are crucifying. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. Why is this important? Well, it shows that anyone can be forgiven, and it shows that even during crucifixion, Jesus is forgiving people. Say a uh, five-mark question about the importance of crucifixion today. Why is crucifixion still important today? Well, because it teaches Christians that they should forgive each other. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. Okay, what about the resurrection? Why is that important? Well, the resurrection proves that we're going to have eternal life. We're going to have heaven and hell. Heaven is the one we're going for because we're going to believe in Jesus. So we follow this quote. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even though they die. Maybe that's too long for you to remember. Let's just go for, I am the resurrection and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. Maybe even that's too long. I am the resurrection and then explain what the rest of it would be. At least you're using some of the quotes. I'm just going to keep repeating it. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even though they die. Whoever believes in me shall live even though they die. 
I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even though they die. Now, if we're keeping on the theme of forgiveness and stuff like that, maybe you want to be praying for forgiveness. Forgive and you will be forgiven. This is from uh, the book of Luke or the book of Luca, maybe. Who knows? No, it's definitely the book of Luke, not Luca. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Okay, that is a nice, simple quote. Okay, why should we forgive others? Well, forgive and you will be forgiven. Judge and you will be judged. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Judge and you will be judged. Okay, so if we forgive others, we will be forgiven. How is this useful? When any question about God being just, God being fair, if he sees that we have forgiven others, he will forgive us. God is just, God is fair. He will forgive us if we have forgiven others. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Forgive and you will be forgiven. I didn't do squares around these ones. Oh no, he needs squares. Square, 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 square. Whatever you did for the least of my brothers, you did for me. Whatever you did for the least of my brothers, you did for me. What the hell does this mean? Well, this is Jesus in the parable of the sheep and the goats, basically saying, whatever you have done to help other people, you have done for me. You will be rewarded for this. Why is this important? Well, this is about how we can find salvation through deeds. We can find salvation. We can be saved and taken to heaven through our deeds. We have done bad things, but through helping others, whatever you did for the least of my brothers, you did for me. A homeless person comes out and asks for money. Whatever you did for the least of my brothers, you did for me. They may appear to be low in society as they are not doing well at the moment, but by helping them, you are helping me. Me being Jesus in this case. This is Jesus saying this. Whatever you did for the least of my brothers you did for me now if you want to do one about how christians deal with persecution how they should deal with persecution we can look at the story of job okay pronounce job really but i'm going to keep pronouncing it job because that's the spelling okay job is persecuted against and he keeps his faith he is persecuted against and he keeps his faith whenever he's persecuted he keeps his faith so he says, through all this, Job did not sin and blame God. When we are persecuted, we do not blame God. We keep faith in God. No matter how badly we are treated, we must keep our faith in God. Through all this, Job did not sin and blame God. Through all this, Job did not sin and blame God. Really nice, easy quote. Through all this, Job did not sin and blame God. Now, let us see if we can shorten it down. Let's take out those first few words. Job did not sin and blame God. So you've remembered a bit of it, you can use that, you'll still get marks. A fragment of a quote is better than no quote at all, okay? It's still a use of scripture. You can't just use a single word, you can't just say, oh, and as the Bible says, God. But as long as you're using enough to explain it, the examiner will probably go with you on this one. Through all this, Job did not sin and blame God. Now, we've got two about heaven and hell afterlife, okay? Why should we keep trying to get to heaven if everyone is in there already? Surely there's no room for us. Well, Jesus tells us, I threw my pen on the floor. Oh, God, where's it? Come here. I picked my pen up. My father's house has many rooms. My father's house has many rooms. He's not just showing that his dad's got a big house. His dad is God. God hasn't got a house. God lives in heaven. His father's house having many rooms means there's an unlimited space in heaven. We are all welcome in heaven. We should all be trying to get to heaven. It's not the first hundred people to get to heaven. It's not like some sort of exclusive club where only a few people get in, okay? Where they're like, oh, in you go, Alex. In you go, Riley. In you go, Mackenzie. You're all in. But you, Max, you can't come in. No, this is everyone can get in because my father's house has many rooms, okay? My father's house has many rooms. Okay, my father's house has many rooms. Heaven has unlimited space for us. My father's house has many rooms. My father's house has lots of spiders. So, you know, that's fun. Now, do we need a quote about hell? We should always have a quote about hell. Into the eternal fire. Where are evil people put? They're put into the eternal fire. Into the eternal fire. It's a fragment of a quote, but it's a nice, simple one to remember. Into the eternal fire, in fact, the full quote is, into the eternal fire made for the devil and his angels. Made for the devil and his angels. But if we just remember that wrongdoers, that sinners, are put into the eternal fire, then we'll be able to do well. I'm sorry if you can hear that noise. The rabbits have decided to have a drink at this point. Stupid rabbits. It's a very noisy hobby you've got there. So not rabbits, George, are they? They're big hamsters, as you said. Right. 
even though they're making a racket, I'm just going to read all these quotes one more time to you. In fact, I'm going to read them repeatedly to you in the last 30 seconds. With God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the beginning, God created the heavens and earth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our image. The word became flesh. The word became flesh. The word became flesh. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even though they die. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Judge and you will be judged. Whatever you did for the least of my brothers, you did for me. Whatever you did for the least of my brothers, you did for me. Whatever you did for the least of my brothers, you did for me. Through all this, Job did not sin and blame God. Through all this, Job did not sin and blame God. Through all this, Job did not sin and blame God. My father's house has many rooms. My father's house has many rooms. My father's house has many rooms. Into the eternal fire. Into the eternal fire. Into the eternal fire. And uh, this one doesn't have a quote on it, so I'm going to make up a quote from Mr. Minton. Please don't fail. I'll cry my lungs out. See?